Hey guys, I hope your day is going great. Today we're talking anxiety symptoms. Anxiety symptoms are real, very real in fact. Go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt and leave me a comment as well and let me know your thoughts on this. So the longest time, man, whenever I was going through anxiety, which was, you know, about five years, and even when I first started making content on this channel, I believed that or at least there was some small part of me that believed that some of the symptoms I experienced with anxiety were imagined, that I was crazy, that it was just all in my head. You know, I had people tell me that all the time. It's just in your head, Trey. You're just imagining these things. You're acting crazy. You're acting irrational. I was, in fact, acting irrational, but I wasn't crazy. So don't let anybody tell you that you're crazy when you're dealing with anxiety. Some of the strongest, most beautiful people, most successful people have anxiety. Okay? You're beautiful. And I love you for that. But I thought that I was imagining symptoms. It, it was hard for me to believe that that numbness, that tingling, those crushing chest pains were real without being associated with some major disease. And those of you that are dealing with health anxiety, man, my heart goes out to you because I went through that. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of sensations and symptoms that anxiety produces that are often painful. And we as health anxiety sufferers, or hypochondriacs, as some like to call it, we associated all them symptoms and sensations with some major illness or disease. And I, I was one of those. I was no exception. And I believed I was dying every single day. So that was one of the big issues. Those symptoms, those pains, those aches, those sensations, those are real. Now, this is where I think your brain comes into factor when it comes to these real symptoms. I believe that we can magnify symptoms and that we can uh, focus our energy, we can focus our mind on certain areas of our body and cause pain to be magnified or increase. Now, this is my personal opinion. This is what I went through. This is my experience. I'm not a professional. Disclaimer here. I'm not a doctor. This is something that I've gone through and I have read about that others go through as well. And we've heard this since we were kids. Don't focus on the pain. If you focus on the pain, what happens? It gets worse or at least it doesn't go away. And that's what I would do. So for instance, I was scared of heart disease and I always had this crazy fear of having a heart attack. So my chest would start hurting from anxiety. Uh, whether I was stressed out or not, I would just have these symptoms and it would come, up, come upon me. And then I would focus in on it. I would get scared. The pain would get much, much worse. Eventually, I learned how to cope with that um, and, and to get over that. But in the beginning, it was terrible. I would focus on it. It would get much more intense. My chest would get tighter and tighter. Then I associated, you know, numbness and tingling and aching in my left side of my body with a heart attack as well, if not a stroke. And I would look at my arm and the pain that was in my arm was there and it would get much, much worse the more I focused on it. I actually believe that you can focus muscle tension into certain areas, especially worrisome areas. And this can become like muscle memory. So my body was so used to focusing muscle tension in the areas that I was super afraid of. Another quick example, I thought I had colon cancer for the longest time. One day I had a bad stomach cramp. I focused my energy on that spot for the next two months and that pain was there. I finally got tired of it. I was scared. I feared colon cancer. I was sure of it. Like all the other times, I was sure of other diseases. I self-diagnosed myself with colon cancer. I called and made an appointment so I could get an ultrasound or something. After I got off the phone, probably 30, 45 minutes, an hour passed no more pain and I haven't had pain in that area since. So in my opinion, I've seen enough to realize that I can focus pain in certain areas. Was that pain real? Yes, I really felt that. That was real. There was tension there, but I believe that I focused it there. So hopefully this could help some of you out that are going through this. All of my tips for anxiety are down below. So make sure if you haven't looked in the description, there's a little tiny arrow, 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 arrow that's below this video you click that little arrow you'll get my description down below i know some of you have had trouble finding that you've been where are these tips at you said you're going to put tips i don't see anything down below it's not in the comments it's the description click that arrow you'll see all my tips for anxiety follow those tips i promise they help also there are other res resources down there there's a free week trial of therapy so you can try that there are amazing journals that you should be using every single day they're down there um, there's also, <clears throat> excuse me, Dr. Vitamin Solution. There's also promo codes so you can save some money. There are sleep aids, natural things that can help you go to sleep. 
um, vitamins for anxiety, CBD products, mood enhancers, things like that that can help you manage your symptoms. Uh, by no means does that mean that those things will cure you, um, but they can help you manage your anxiety symptoms, some of these real sensations and physical symptoms that you experience and help you, you know, roll with the punches, get the ball uh, moving, if you will, and to help you with that. So that's down there. My social media is down below. Join the Facebook group if you haven't. We're over 13,000 members now. We are growing super, super fast. Actually, the last uh, projections I was seeing, we're now growing at about six to 7,000 members a month. So you will find a lot of like-minded people there that you can relate with. Um, it's just a good community to be a part of. So join that group if you haven't. My social media is there. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will talk to you guys later.